after Spain race and uh, the fifth test of the season, we are coming now into Monaco. Monaco is a very particular uh, track, sort of unique uh, in the season, with only some analogy to Singapore race. For the driver, it's very important to find the best grip and the best performance on a corner-by-corner by corner basis. And this is a work that is, uh, is going through the whole weekend with a lot of laps to find the limit in a corner-by-corner. The setup work is basically um, related to stiffness, both in vertical and in roll of the car, to be able to let the driver uh, find the maximum grip given the, with the track uh, bumpiness characteristic. We'll be running a soft and super soft combination of tires. These tires will help quite a lot of drivers in finding the, a very high uh, mechanical grip level for the car. will also help the traction and the braking phases. To describe the, the development work that we are doing here in Maranello to be able to push uh, uh, as much as we can the, the car uh, performance, we can say that the Monaco is a very particular uh, race and the demands are different than the other ones in general. Uh, while we are doing a very tailored uh, development work on a race-by-race -race basis, so hopefully we'll bring uh, on the next races like Canada, Austria, UK and the race after a lot of uh, innovations and the developments to push the car performance and to be able to close the gap with the quicker cars. The aerodynamics of a Formula One car are dictated by two main parameters, downforce and drag. A Formula One car is essentially the opposite of a fighter jet. In the case of a fighter jet, the air pulls a plane in the sky and keeps it flying. In the case of a Formula One car, the air pushes it on the ground and hence helps it go around corners much faster. In fact, the downforce produced by Formula One car is huge. That way it can go around corners much faster than any other car. And together with a very efficient braking system, it can also decelerate much faster than any other vehicle. The aerodynamic setup consists of the various adjustments that have to be made onto the car for each race. Each race is a compromise between drag and downforce. Some circuits have very long straights and there it's important to have low drag. Other circuits have lots of corners and it's very important to have high downforce. Unfortunately, the two things don't go together. Therefore, it's important to choose between where exactly one has to set up the car in terms of the ratio between downforce and drag. It's not just downforce and drag, it's also car balance. It's important to have the right amount of downforce on the front and the rear wheels. That is the other element of setup that has to be gotten just right for each circuit. Setup also affects the reliability. Depending on whether the circuit is hot or cold or whether it has particular characteristics, we have to adjust the car's cooling accordingly. Before each race, we have a pretty good idea of what the setup of the car is going to be. We have done a lot of simulations, we have done a lot of measurements, and we have a lot of data from the previous races in that same circuit the previous years. However, it's indispensable to also go around on Friday and get track time, and then we can make some final adjustments. The setup between the two cars is not always the same. It can be quite close or even the same, but it can also de depend on the individual preferences of the drivers. Depending on the driving style, they may want slightly different configurations, and that will be fine-tuned for each car separately.